In this version of the story, Tom and Myrtle are very sympathetic characters. How much of that was the script? And how much of that was, was you guys deciding that that's kind of how you wanted to play it? Well, movie making is everybody uh, weighing in together. You know, it's the script, it's, it's Baz, it's all of our input. It's every aspect put together. But as far as the way the characters come out in the end, I think that villainy or goodness are just points of view, really. I mean, if you're, if you're watching a movie about Tom Buchanan, then Jay Gatsby would be this mysterious wife poaching villain. Whereas it's about point of view to me. So Tom becomes this obstacle to the love story that you want to see. I think that scene where Myrtle is waiting, was sees Tom's car arrive, but for the first time ever thinks that that's Tom's wife, it's actually Jordan in the car. Um, but I, I felt so heartbroken doing shooting that scene for her because of just, you know, she's so trapped and... Fitzgerald had this quote, sometimes I don't know if I'm real <coughs> or whether I'm a character in one of my novels. And I know when you were working on the film, Joel, you kept your upper class American accent in between takes. Mm. Do you ever struggle to, f to figure out, you know, where you begin and where your character ends? I think, no, not really. At least, not, I, I don't. I'm not that deluded where, I'm not a method actor. I sort of work from the outside in rather than the inside out. So um, I never get lost. But I think sometimes it's easy to feel those feelings that your character feels. Without trying to sound ridiculously uh, odd, oddball about it is, trying to find yourself in yourself in the, the character in a way that um, or vice versa but but strangely the converse of finding yourself in that personality and and where that meets in the middle in some way so that it it, it feels sort of seamless in a way if you can the concept of being um sort of enamored with the past and trying to relive it is a really important part of the book and the film and Nick even tells Gatsby you, know, you can't repeat the past but mm. let's say you could and you could go back and relive one experience you've had on a movie. Oh wow, um, I would probably, um, I just shot a movie called Now You See Me that comes out actually coincidentally in a couple of weeks but I had a really, it was just a really good connection of people um, and uh, I just really love the guys on that movie and I had a really good time with them. I think if I could really relive a moment, even though it's burnt on my brain, when I when I first rolled up to in Tunisia to the set of, uh, of Star Wars oh, wow. in Tatooine, the exterior set of, of uh, the water towers and seeing C three PO shimmering wow. in the desert in the yeah. Sahara Desert and getting out of this four wheel drive and seeing it because I was such a huge Star Wars fan, it was like you know someone handed me my dream really. Oh wow.